Throughout the years in our business, we have never seen such a surge in deaths like we have experienced from the start of July to this present time. The death rate has been extremely high. And of course, the COVID-19 pandemic have contributed to much of that surge in death. We have seen all ages come into her because of COVID-19 from 22, 50s, 60s, and even 100 years old. These bodies were just backed up. At one point we thought, oh, we have no space, although our capacity is very high. And yet at that point we were saying, whoa, what next? But we just battle through, we handle through because the work that we're doing, you have to work your brain work to know exactly what's the next step you have to take. You cannot panic and don't know where to turn. So we utilize very well and we handle everybody, but I want our people to know that it was extremely high. There was a backdrop that we had never seen before. Because of the contagiousness of the COVID-19, we here have to be extremely careful in the way we handle the body when it comes in here. I have to protect my staff. I have to protect myself, the public, and everybody we get in contact with our families. And it's sad when you see families come in here to you and they feel helpless they feel there is no closure because they can't see their loved ones. And so I sat one day and I said, I have to try to bring some closure to these families. Because questions are, they will say, how do I know that's my dad? How do I know that's my mom? How do I know that's my brother and my sister? And quite honestly, if I am in their shoes, I will feel the very same way and ask the very same questions. And so I sat and I said, you know what? There is some way that we can help these people. There is something we can do to assist them. And at this time, I said, oh, the body bags use the normal body bags way back. They are just a straight body bag sealed. There's no option of viewing. And I said to myself, but let me design something with a little window and call it the window body bag. It's a translucent window and the families can view their loved ones. The normal bodies which we prepare and dress, they are normal bodies which we prepare and dress, but the COVID bodies, we have to sanitize, we have to be extremely cautious. But at the same time, in all our cautiousness, we send them also with dignity. Those families, the body will be in the coffin, in the body bag, sorry, into the lane, in the coffin. And when they come in, the, before the, the, on the day of the funeral, we ask the family to come in and we allow them to view their loved ones through the body bags. I would also like to urge and encourage our fellow citizens to please practice the protocols that have been established by the Ministry of Health and Wellness so we can reduce on the number of deaths that we see every day. It's very sad and I'll tell you I came in very early here one morning, seven o'clock, to open up. And a gentleman walked in right after me and he said to me, Miss, I was only walking in town and the doctor called me to tell me that my daughter just passed away. Well, I expressed my condolence to him and I said, how old was she? He said, she was 23. He said, oh, but today is her birthday. Oh, no, no, no. Yesterday was a birthday. 
and tears started rolling down his cheeks. And it was so sad at that point seeing him walking into town and heard the doctor calls him telling his daughter has just passed away as a result of COVID. COVID has no respect of persons. It, it is a real killer. It touches every walks of life, every firm, every company. As a matter of fact, I will let you know, we were here working on skeleton staff. But thank be to God, he had a few, a few of us to handle the families that were able to come in to see us. So again, I urge you to follow the protocols.